jackets and stuff like that. So the jackets are always well for jackets. What's going on 1020? I hope you're all super well. Today's game day, the last game that we play before our season starts next week. For me, I'm gonna go out there and give my 100% for the team, as I always do. But on a personal note, I'm looking at it for fitness, number one, to keep myself in a game environment. Being back here, the main focus is building my physical strength, being a physical athlete, and then building the other parts of my game as well. So, we just finished cooking up uh, some sort of, it's like morning tea because we play at 1 p.m. Just got a heap of oats. I had oats for breakfast as well, but I just want some more and I'll have a banana with some nuts. But yeah, man, excited. I love playing. How can you not? Got my morning tea. Papa Tweety, mate, you ready to film today? You ready for the game? I'm ready. The oh, expert is oh. here. Are we going to get a ground review? Uh, I think I've done that before. No, we can do it. So we're going to do it. We're going to be there a few weeks, so I can do That's alright, well, well we'll get a ground review today. I need to gradually ease back into my uh, primary role in life. So I'm off, I have to get there at 12 o'clock I believe, and I was also going to do a gym workout, but the program that Ped just put me on, because we're in the foundation phase, he said to do the exercises that he sent me twice a week, but I'm going to fit in three times a week because I know I can. So it doesn't make sense to do it after the game today, but what I will do is I have this prehab dash rehab program, which I have to do, I think it's like four times a week. And then the core cool workout, I want to kind of get in as much as possible. So tonight I'll go off to the gym, I'll do the prehab rehab stuff, which is still kind of tough. And then the core cool workout, which is also very high. So yes, the main focus is the game, but afterwards we still got to work. Most, look, while I'm in Australia, most of the time, game days are going to be double days for me. I'll be playing and either in the morning or at night, I'll go off to the gym and get a second session in as well. That's just how it's going to be for me. So looking forward to it after the game. Papa Tweety said he would do a ground review. So that's something for you lot to look forward to. I'll catch you with an in-game commentary and then also catch you a little bit later when we head off to the gym. Welcome back to the Papa Tweety ground rant. I'm sure you missed me. Anyway, here we are at the lovely Manly Chroma One Oval. And I reckon it's one of the best grounds in Sydney. Just have a look. Beautiful artificial surface and it's big. It's a really big suburban ground. And a big grandstand. And one of my favourite things is that it's got an overhanging roof with no poles in the way. So there's not much I can say negative about this ground. Uh, the only thing I wish they'd done is just not put those seats down the front there. I wish they'd move the grandstand just a bit further forward and then we'd be right on top of things. But if you think I've gone soft, wait till we get to the ground next door, Chroma number two. I think he's playing there in two or three weeks and I've got plenty to say about that ground. It's The ground itself is good but architecturally it's just hopeless. Hopeless. Anyway, more about that another day. Yo, let me clear a few things up before you guys start commenting. So this is a local league. I played in the same league two years ago with Wakehurst. The season starts next week. I'm playing for a team called BTH. And look, I said it when I came back to Australia and when I left England. My focus here is to build a footballer's physique. Become a better footballer, work on my physique, my strength, my speed, my power, all of those sorts of things. So I'm not too worried about playing at the highest possible level. I didn't even really look into playing into MPL. Well, the truth is I didn't. I didn't want to sort of have the pressure to perform there because when you start getting paid to play, then there's some pressure there. And I wanted to focus a lot more on my gym work more than anything else. But of course, keep the football up. That's why we're playing and getting those minutes in ready for preseason in England. So very heavy touch there. I want to continue working on my technical stuff because touches like that shouldn't happen. And, you know, that just comes down to work on the training field, making sure that I continue to improve myself, not just in the gym and my power and my strength, but also improving technically as a player, which I'm getting all the right things in place to do that, to then, again, make myself ready for preseason in England. So I get wide, look for a little one-two here after I've dragged that number 20 in, and then I look for the second ball, nice little touch out, so then we can switch the play Super simple. Here, I'm just reading the game. I see that this 21 is going to check in, so I kind of see where he wants to turn, and I read it. I don't dive into the uh, tackle, and I look for the ball in behind there. Just miss out. Look, it's a counter-attacking opportunity. I thought, why not take it? Here's a free kick. 
oh man i was like a, i'd say like two meters off target but i'm getting that dip the dip is really there which is just very very good there a foul got blown but just good technical close control very firm pass out wide so we can switch the play as quick as possible very important now here man this is a big reason as well why I wanted to play in this league because I knew that it's a physical league. I got ranked fourth best player in the league and I know that I'm going to get targeted. Uh, maybe people don't like me. Maybe people just want to try and injure me to take me out of the game. Whatever it is, I knew this sort of thing was going to happen, which is good because it's preparing me for that physicality in England. And I spoke with Paddy a little bit about it and he said, yeah, it's more silly challenges and, you know, it's good. And here I got absolutely smashed, dude. I was struggling to breathe. So one guy took me out from my left and took my legs out. The other one came from the top and took my ribs. And it was incredibly sore, man. That was so painful. I'm just looking back at it far out. Came off holding my ribs. Ended up going back on. But look, I want to review this because I should have known. I did a really good move here. So I received the ball. I checked my shoulder. I know he's coming. And so I do this little move here right so we take it there to make him think i'm gonna go that way then we do another one where we step past the ball and it actually fooled him and we should have turned out a hundred percent towards that 22 i didn't read that he read that i did that and so i take it here and i still get the pass off i hit the player so it's a great play i've dragged two players in and i get the pass off well it breaks through the line so overall it's a great play but I could have avoided that situation by knowing that he fell for my move. So look, it's not the end of the world. This was, I just came back on and I was like, far out, let me just have a shot of this. I'm, I'm dying here. My ribs actually are really sore. Uh, so I pick up the ball in here, just supporting the six. Maybe could have got that one off one touch if I knew straight away that's something that I can look into for the future. Uh, and then they look to make a play here, receive the ball, and this is important. I dribble, 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 look to play, look to play, and then I play it out in front of our right back. Just being composed on the ball, that's something I kind of want to work on through these games. Again, pick up the ball, check my shoulder twice, look forward, look forward, and then play it out in front with a very firm pass so we can break the lines again. That's important, playing it out in front of the player, and then with a firm pass as well, that's how you break down defenses. So uh, I can't see myself. Oh, no, that was just another tackle. Studs up to my uh, foot and then half time went. So we're 1 0 up at half time. I get another free kick and I thought for sure he was going to go near post. So I went to the far post and I had some good bend on it. But hey, I should have just gone near post. So we're going to switch up the free kick locations now because I feel like I'm really getting that technique. I just need to get the accuracy. And then we'll be spot on, man, with free kicks. So here, just a couple of little plays, just kind of holding on to the ball, being calm on it, switching out. Very simple stuff. And I end up coming off with 18 minutes into the first, second half. And then uh, Papa Tweedy left, but I got another 20 minutes at the end of the game. Because it was a trial, uh, you can kind of bring players on and off. Great touch there by our six, who then switched it out. I received this ball here, look for the switch again, putting it out in front and then he can drive forward with it. So that's kind of the highlights of the game. We ended up winning 1-0, and yeah, next week is the season start. Man, I got crunched, that tackle. Oh, it, uh, I got the ball away, and um, look, you guys saw, and I commentated whether the pass hit the player or not, but hey, this league is physical, man. Especially that I've played in it, and last time I played, I was ranked fourth best player in the league. I know for a fact that I'm going to get targeted. It's probably good, because it's going to get me used to that physicality that I have when I go back to England, so far out that still hurts anyway we got gym session tonight so i'll catch you guys a little bit later on i'm gonna go home have my smoothie the 950 calorie one. Oh no i also have to cook tonight oh yuck i don't even know what i'm gonna cook all right we'll figure it out oh that sucks that's really built my day down <laughs> Oh man, I just saw myself in the camera. I'm so burnt, man. My other camera that I normally use is out of battery. We've just arrived at the gym. Whoa, oh, this is tough, man. We just played, what, 85 minutes, I reckon? 80 minutes? So a long, long shift on the field. I've worked myself hard, and now we got to back it up with a gym session and a cool workout. And remember, this isn't a strength. This is prehab and rehab work that I just want to get done. It's the extra stuff, and hey, Got to do it, you got to do it. Do I necessarily want to be here? Not really, but if I wanted to be the best, this is where I got to be.
Man, this gym workout was a lot harder than it looked on paper. A lot of reps and a lot of sets, but it was quality, man. You know, this is body weight stuff, and I'm sure that this is just the beginning, so it's gonna get more explosive as we go. You can see this is just simple lunges with that band, keeping your knee from kind of rolling out, rolling in, and yeah, it's tough. <laughs> when, you, when you do a lot of them, I think I end up doing like 50 or so, yeah, 50 on each foot. But then we do these ones. So I'm still working on the technique. I'm seeing Pedge in a couple of days, which will be great. So he'll be able to watch me do this and kind of analyze, see what I'm doing wrong, see what I'm doing right, and then go from there. But again, it was very tough. It, it looked easy. A couple of other exercises that I didn't film that worked the legs as well. Here, this core workout. So you're writing ABC with the exercise ball, and it's really, really hard. But I think I need to put my hands just a little bit higher up on that ball. Again, the form's not going to be perfect yet, but we're getting there. This one's a little bit easier in terms of technique, just making sure that you're squeezing the glutes and flexing that core. This one's tough. I love it, though, because it's a real challenge to keep your whole body switched on and balanced, and you really got to switch that core on, and then obviously doing it on both sides. But that was my gym work, plus of other things that I didn't film. And yeah, it was tough, man. Very, very hard. Man, I am exhausted. I think a combination of two things. Number one is the sun, man. The sun really took it out of me today. It like drains all your energy and you can see I was in the sun for hours. Second thing, I'm just not much fit yet. It's simple as that. The brilliant thing about this sort of strategy is that when I leave for England, I will be much fit because I'll be in season. That's gonna be a huge benefit to me and something that I'll be able to leverage over there. But that was tough, Jim. I had to cut down some of the numbers because it was just too high, too many sets, whatever it was. I'd rather hit all of the exercises with less numbers than do less exercises with more numbers. There was no way I was doing the full program. Not today, man. I think maybe three or four weeks in, once we've started playing games and we're used to the match fitness and everything, then we can start to look to hit the full program the day of the game because ideally that's kind of the plan. But the match is always gonna be the hardest time of the week. It's gonna be the toughest on the body. We just to push through it so it's home time now man yo my forehead is so bad it's not just the hairline now it's the redness uh, i've never really cared about my hairline but anyway my arm is really sore man just the uh, forearm just in there there's big it's not bruised there's just a big lump and my ribs are fine now man at the time i honestly was dying anyway gym session completed right now the time is at 10 12 p.m that's early for me back in the past right now because i'm working so hard number one i want to go to bed earlier and i almost have to number two i want to get more stuff done in the morning because i need to eat so overall great day still getting back into the games i'm not too fussed on my performance i didn't do amazing i didn't do bad it's just in the middle and again it's i'm using it for my personal benefit if we look at it that way of course i go out there and give the team 100 percent every single time no matter who i play for but I also set myself some personal goals and what I want to get out of certain things. But for me, man, I'm so tired. I wake up between 7 a.m., 8 a.m. tomorrow, get a gym session in. We're going and seeing Mark. I don't think he's, no, he hasn't been on the vlog, but we might get him on video. But I need to head off to bed, so take it I'm signing up. Make sure you like this. Subscribe to the channel. See you next week. Bye.